<laughs> hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Great to have you back on this Thursday. Tech Timber, off full running, lots to talk about today. Um, yeah, finished the photos last night. Let's get into that. I guess the, what, what I've been doing, in case you're keen to know. This week's video is looking pretty good. A lot of photos. And I think I need to learn how to get harsher or learn how to cull my photos. <laughs> I don't know if you've looked at your photos and you go, oh, yeah, that's nice, but I like that because of that. And yeah, oh, but that's nice. To, which ones do you cut? It's very hard. I don't know if I'm just lucky and I've got lots to shoot or I just need to be harsher and trim it and just be nasty. So that look, looks pretty good. Um, there's a heap, again, most of this video is all gonna be all 24 mils. It's the only lens I use that day. I did, I've got some nice drone shots in there. I wanted to chuck in as well. But I need a couple of those, beautiful sunrise and stuff like that. But yeah, look, sort of a good good sort of example of the 24. And then there's going to obviously be a bit of a chat and a hike and a bit of fun stuff as well. So looking pretty good. I'm going to start on the video tonight. And uh, hopefully it should be good for tomorrow night, Friday. See how I go tonight, see how much I've got to get through. But I think that's probably the easy, the video side's pretty easy to sort of get it done. So worst case will be Saturday, but look, looking good and we are on schedule. So that's always good to be on schedule for the week. Now, uh, tech news, we've got a bit of, heap of tech news to get through, but one other I want to get into a big mention, big shout out to Derek Jeter. If you're a baseball fan, like myself, uh, baseball hat, uh, Tigers baseball club, uh, grew up from five years old to be playing baseball, only retired last year. So 41 years of baseball in my life, so it's been my whole life. Um, and you get some heroes, you get some guys. Nolan Ryan's my hero. Uh, love him. Just like I just dreamed about being as good as he was as a player and a person. So, but there's other people in there, and there's always special people. Um, I've got to meet Pete Rose in Vegas, which was amazing. But I also got to watch Derek Jeter. Uh, lucky enough, I've been to New York twice. And got to go on and watch the baseball game at the Yankees. I got to go to old Yankee Stadium and I've been to new Yankee Stadium. And so that's, I'm pretty happy I got to go where the house that Ruth built. But I also got to go to the house where Jeter built. And, um, well, he got oh, inducted into the Hall of Fame yesterday. Somehow he wasn't unanimous. As I think I thought he would have been one of the ones that would be always 100 out of 100. Who would not pick him? But apparently one person didn't pick him out of the, all the selection, the people that vote which is a little bit strange. So someone just didn't like him for some reason. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's pretty hard not to pick him. His career is amazing. What he's done, five World Series rings, uh, captain of the Yankees, just insane. What a player, just physical skills, the leadership role he played, yeah, pretty amazing. And just a, just a really good ball player, just, yeah. It is the Yankees. A lot of people don't like the Yankees. I'm a Cardinals fan, born and bred. Uh, will be for life, but um, yeah, look, you got to give a shout out to him. He's a great player, and look, congratulations to him. Larry Walker, I think, went in with, with him as a player, another awesome hitter. But uh, yeah, I guess the day was really all Jeter. It's pretty hard you get to go into the Hall of Fame and you're going to get, sort of get shrouded by someone of that caliber. So awesome to him, and all the, I've been lucky enough as well to get to the Hall of Fame. It's an amazing place. If you ever do go to New York. Give yourself a couple of days and go up to uh, Cooperstown. It's a beautiful town. Uh, it's got little baseball fields. It's got batting cages you can pay for. All that stuff you, like us Australians, we take for granted. It's just, it's got a lake. Oh, it's just one of those gorgeous towns, picturesque, old, just old school. Just, yeah, it's a really amazing place and worth going to see it. If, you're, if you are a baseball fan, it's, I guess it's our mecca, I guess, for our, our religion and uh, definitely worth going to check out. So congrats to all the Hall of Famers and people that got selected. Very cool. Now, big news that dropped today or sort of late yesterday. We'll go into that first. We'll go through Apple iPhone, 4, iPhone 14 leaks and renders. It's insane. iPhone 13 comes out next week. Already, John Prosser over from FPT and In by Design, I think, he does his renders for him. So that's the person that's done the beautiful design on the thing. They obviously get their leaks saved. So they're people that leaking, don't get in trouble. They take their designs and what photos and everything, information they have and make their own digital render so they can't get nailed for it. So that's pretty smart on his behalf and I think it's nice of him to do that. 
Wow, uh, big changes coming next year. If uh, look, he's fairly accurate most of the time. Um, everyone's no one's perfect, as we all know, especially in the leaking world. And, and I mean, when you put it out so early, it's very easy for Apple to go, "Yeah, okay, we're going to smash that." So there's a lot of things that you, I guess, you could. But the great, there's some fantastic ideas in there, which I think are really cool. Um, the fact that, well, the face notch, which everyone for some reason hates, it doesn't really bother me too much. That's now going under the screen, so you'll you'll lose that. You get a little hole punch for your uh, camera, so that's good they didn't put that under the screen because that apparently isn't a really good success. You get a uh, natural black mist filter on it because it, uh, it's got to go through the glass. So I think that's pretty cool. Happy with that, no dramas. It goes to round buttons, back to the like iPhone 5 round buttons apparently. And the big one, which I think is actually really, really cool, uh, they've made it thicker. So the back of the phone, you got a camera bump. Um, where's mine? iPhone 12, you've got your, always got your camera bump here. I feel like that sticks out until you get a nice case. I've got my mouse case here, love my mouse case. Now, on the new design, basically what they're gonna do is they're gonna make the whole phone thicker. So the glass on the back will come out to that level and then the lenses will be recessed in the glass. So the glass will have a cutout for the lens and it'll slot straight over the top and glued to the back of the phone and be dead flat on the back. Very cool. Uh, I think it's really cool and I think it's good because obviously with that bump there, if you're not a case user, uh, it's got a wobble and it doesn't sit flat on a bench. That would annoy crap out of me. Um, I do have to admit a little, the OCD would kick in a bit there. But I also then thought, well, if they're gonna have this nice glass back and it's gonna be nice and flat and awesome, wouldn't it be good to do like a little bit of a homage to the IMAX of the 90s with the colored back see-through IMAX? Imagine having an iPhone where they do like a, a stained red, a stained blue, a stained green glass. Instead of coloring the phone, color the glass and have the internals prominent. And in that response, you go, well, it, well that doesn't, that, who wants to see that? Well, go look at the ear ones from nothing. They have gone Burko this year with their sales. Uh, you still can't buy them. Uh, they're not in stock anywhere. Paying, people are paying, they're 149 bucks Australian. They're, people are paying four, five, six hundred dollars for them. Like it's just, they're just headphones. So Apple needs a little bit of injection. They've had a bit of a stale 12 months, 18 months, as I said the other day. How good would that be next year? Something just to inject, even if it's only for one model to see how it goes. Maybe the the X, the, the the Max model, the big one. Just do it for the Pro one, and see if that makes a difference to the sales. But put a stained glass back with a red, a green, or a blue, or a yellow, uh, and then you can see the inside. That would look freaking amazing. And I, if you had something like that, it then would be worthwhile not having a case on it, because at the moment there's no need. You're going to have a case on it anyway, because you, a you got to protect the lenses. And B, well, there's nothing really to look at. It's just a back. It's nothing exciting. If you went the iMac trajectory, that would be bloody cool, I think. So very, very cool. Very happy about that one. Fingers crossed. You never know. But look, great job by the boys at FPT. And the renders look amazing. You go over to FPT's website, check it out, get all the renders. You can download the renders. There's even, a, I think he's even done an AR. So you can put it on your phone. You can place the phone in your room. So very, very cool. A year out, just insane. Tech is a crazy, crazy world. Now, other big leak. We had the 16 mil yesterday from Canon. Well, last night, the 100 to 400 has dropped. Now, it's a, I think it's a 5.1 to 8 aperture. So 8's a little bit higher end, but I still, don't, I still think that's why. It's got image stabilization up to six stops in the R6 and R5. That's magic. I'd say it's going to be six in the R5 because I think that's got a bit more uh, image stabilization built in, in body stabilization, sorry. So it's still going to be five, maybe four to five stops with the R6, which is what I'm trying to get. Very, very cool. Um, and the best part, 649 US dollars. Pow! Uh, awesome. Heaps tiny, RF. Magic, super, super pumped about that one. That works out to $888 Australian. To buy an EF secondhand 100 to 400L uh, to get that zoom range, 
you got to pay you second hand you're paying 11 at least a thousand up to 1200 bucks for a good quality one for a mint condition one so uh that's a lot of money i can go and pay eight nine hundred bucks get a brand new rf direct mount it it's smaller it's lighter uh it's awesome and it also works with the 1.5 and two times extended so you've got a 200 to 800 possible wow that's amazing and super pumped uh i think i've put off getting the ef L lens and I'm gonna definitely get a pre-order in for one. I've got the money sitting there waiting to buy a new lens after I get the R6, but I think this is what I want. I wanna get that one. I think that would be awesome. I think that's gonna be more value to me than the 16 mil because I've already got this awesome 16 mil. So that is huge, huge news. 649 Canon, uh, if please, whatever they do, do not adjust those prices. They are just insane. You're gonna sell bucket loads of them you'll make it back in selling hundreds of thousands of these things. That is pretty darn cool. Uh, very cool, very excited for us RF cheapos. <laughs> now, last but not least, let me just check. Uh, Cost last but not least. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? DJI's OM5 dropped last night. At, if you had a chance to watch the show, um, yeah, look. It's the new model of the OM4, which I showed you yesterday. It's a one third lighter, so that's really good. So you take a bit away. This is already really light, and I can fit this in my pocket. I normally have that folded up in one pocket, that and, the other, and I can put that in my bag if I'm not going to use it, if I'm just vlogging with that, or and I can leave that in my camera bag, and then I can have my phone in the other pocket with the clip already on it, so I can just go pop it out, bang, away we go. Um, so a third lighter and smaller, so that's really good. Um, pretty happy about that. Two big things that it has, and I'm pretty impressed with. The handle has an extension. I think it's 220 mils. I'll have the, if I've got it down below in the link below. You can go read that. It's got some software, some new software, Active Track 4.0, so that's up, so that's really good. So that's really quite handy, the tracking. Um, but I think the second biggest feature of it, and really, really good, I do a lot of astro shooting. You've seen the videos on the channel. If you haven't, go subscribe, hit that bell. It'll be handy you go, and go and have a look at those ones. Um, so when you're vlogging, there's nowhere to attach a light. Well, they actually did this one smart. So what you can now buy, and you, you have to buy it separate, you get your mag clip, which goes on the back of your phone. There's a $79 Australian one that has inbuilt LED lights, which are adjustable. That'll clip onto your phone. Now you get a light, bang. You get a face light, so you could be doing dark stuff and you can still be seen at night. Very cool. I think that was actually really, really clever. Downsides. And other than that, there's not really much. That's probably the two biggest new ones, or three biggest ones. It's dropped a third of its weight. You get the extension you got a new mag light on here. That's the three good positives that I can see in, and it's got some metal parts in here instead of plastic. So it's had a bit of a, a zhuzh up, definitely a zhuzh. So it's pretty cool. If you haven't got a OM4, definitely it would be a great purchase. Bad side. Now, biggest problem I have with this one is if it's raining or wet conditions, I'm near water, it's, it's not water resistant, not any way, means of shape or form. So I can't use it because otherwise I'm down 100. 180 bucks or whatever it cost me, um, which is a bit of a shame. That's that's the biggest thing. And I have sent them a few messages of, of I'm, a, I'm only a little fella, but um, it would be good if they could have at least some sort of splash resistance to it. It doesn't have to be, like I don't want to put it underwater, but if it's rain, light rain and I'm out vlogging in between shots, uh, that's a great time for us as photographers to be out in the rain and, and the wet weather and humidity. Uh, it'd be good to be able to use this so I don't have to carry the switch pod around with me because I'm normally going to take that when it's raining and leave this behind because it's just too much stuff in the bag. So that would be awesome. Now, the other biggest problem is where do I put my uh, wireless go? Where's the microphone? If you put the clip-on mic, uh, I've got one here. If I put my Rode wireless mic onto there, it hits the framework on the back of the phone. So you can't really it'll stop it from spinning and moving, which is a, defeats the purpose of having the gimbal, so a real pain. So there's nowhere for a micro, like a microphone like this, understandable. But what they sh probably should have done 
is put like a little hot shoe mount here or something on the side or something or so on here, put a hot shoe mount here. So then I can put my wireless go, I'll just bring this one up. Imagine if they put the wireless go and click that in here and you can just run your little cable straight up to your phone. It spins around with it. You've got audio, go to your wireless, you to your transceiver and uh, away you go. That's the only, that's the, probably the two negatives I have with it. The software and all the stuff it does for the price of it, it's fantastic. I love this thing. It does. It's really cool. The climb me feature. I love. I think that's good. It gives a good perspective when I'm trying to show off a, an area, and I can just set it up and do it itself. You can do time lapses. There's heaps of fun stuff in there uh, without being too technical and having to know much about gimbals. So it, it is a really good gimbal. I've no doubt. If you're buying, if you haven't got one, then go get that one. That's going to be really good. If you've got an OM4 as an upgrade you're not getting too much for the extra money considering you're going to lose a fair bit selling this or put it out to pasture and lose the lot just to get extendable and yeah, a light so a little bit of a shame in that regards hopefully on the six if they can put somewhere you can put the wireless go or a microphone on there that would be good and at least a water resistant trading um, other than that, yeah, good work, DJI. It, it looks good. Just, just those. We're getting close. We're getting close. Be cool. Radio, that's the big one. Hopefully, I haven't gone too long. Um, thanks for hanging around. I will see you all again tomorrow for the end of the week show. Hopefully, I'll get all this video done tonight, and we'll have a video tomorrow night as well for you to watch after this. Okay, doke. We'll be coming this way, that way, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>